All right, uh, this is Olu Total Roundabout. Yes, like just this evening, the it's like the security men, I be the our military men, they just left. So people have started opening the roads. As you can see, there is little movement. You can watch this is uh, people's uh, tables which they use in selling stuff. So they carried it and destroyed people's stuff. So this is Olu. This is Olu. Right now, as you can see, there is Olu Old Market. Daily Market. People are passing from behind. Although it's still dry, as you can see, people are just walking, just pass by foot, people stops, market stops, everywhere is blocked. Everywhere is blocked. So this is Olu. People are no longer happy. Please, they should tell our governor, let him do something. He needs to do something. Yes, this is Olu. This evening, you know, as you can see, I'm still walking on the road. Hello, so, first bank. At least still dry. Like, man, nothing is happening. People are still scared. Pask is still scared. The governor should do something. No business is moving. Even parks are locked. Parks are locked up and all that. Chai, wala deal. We go no go governor and you let him speak to his people and call off this. Lockdown of a ten. I'm not gonna kill him. There's this ITC park at uh, Olu Plaza, Rochas Plaza. Everywhere is locked up. Everywhere is locked up. Shops are locked up. Shops are locked up. Everywhere is blocked. Everywhere is blocked. Oh, top. But uh, she are one who uh more and when they go the chief executive officer of Charles aluminium uh adam happy to be with in your mix and to explain to you exactly what transpired on 25th to which only yesterday i knew because i am not resident in Olo. i Olo is a branch of Charles aluminium and as at the time this incident happened i was in Uyo. Even my manager was had an accident on 29th of December because of a motor accident. He broke his leg and he was in Lagos. So actually, the way it happened, we are not happy. And uh, to say all, how the people, the army, tried to terrorize our place. And the ECM people who tried to be in the bush always tried to make peace so that our people will not die because they our people are hard working people and we can not stop that although branch of Charles Amino was created to ensure that we can create jobs for people so that they can work comfortably and have sense of belonging to people instead of everybody being outside their hometown this is the beginning of the project one wants to do uh, unfortunately the way that thing happened it was our security man, by all in, in issues, the security man is an outside man. And he is the one who took part in this issue and had a record of this particular thing. I think maybe intentionally, he wanted to discredit Charles Aluminium or the Eastern Network. It was regarded as IPOB, but it was not IPOB. It was Eastern Network, ESN which try to clear the herdsmen in the bush. Because if the herdsmen are in the bush, how can our people farm? How can we have food? The food is generated there at farms. So I cannot understand why they will come to our place and cause a lot of herdsmen. We have more people play areas like uh, in the Northeast, or where we have a lot of crisis, which is an external problem, where we expect the army. But instead of the army to be in the war front to protect the territory of Nigeria, they are now doing the internal control, which is supposed to be the police. The police is supposed to be the one to be mediating with civilians. The army are not trained 
in such a way that they will harmful civilians. So it is very, very wrong. If anybody had looked at the way things happen, you will bear with me that it was actually very, very wrong. A lot of civilians are being killed. M military are trained specifically to kill. And for them to kill, they don't distinguish civilians. So the, the Eastern Security Network was actually for only to make sure our bush is peace, is peaceful, and our land is peaceful. Because of this, more when you're here, all my dear friend, I am surprised because there are some number of traitors. traitor, I cannot run this organization and try to create a job for my people. Uh, today, I'm running my, my factories on generator. I'm running everything. Everything I run, I run it on generator. It's not a way a country will be. A country that has got independence from 1960 to date, we are suffering. And when we say that we need peace, the peace is supposed to be there. Because they don't need to be there. Charles Aluminium is a private organization. It's not a public, it's not a government organization. Because on a way, we ten years, we may, uh, I'm a may, we were may have a maybe on maybe in here. You don't need a an actual create job for our people, it will work or not work. What we have decided with the management of organization is one that staff that had this have been sacked. The man who was following him behind had been sacked. In the interim, the directors of the company has decided that the company is closed. We have security dog that is watching there 24 hours. What we do is that we have a cousin who will go once a while to feed the dog and leave the dog to make a patrol inside the company. So why we are saying this? So people should not get nearer because they will get themselves being chewed by the dog. Because on a will look here on a web flag. Although intention, we are, I'm, I'm a Biafra. Biafra started as far as on a primary school. We had what we call part of Biafra. And that's what I read in my geography. I read it in my geography. Part of Biafra was changed to part of Bonnie after 1970s. And I'm sure I started primary school in 1960s. So Mukwe Yemnebu had them correct. So Biafra is not a day. A day distant. It had been there before even the creation of the name Nigeria by 1914. So Biafra was there. Because Yemna son were in a while on the Ebulem, a man who went himself, Muga Mukadro, and the Nebu Shani, the Tomahand, Chukwai de Quaya. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very, very, very much. Thank you very, very much, Mr. Charles. Uh, Mr. Charles, um, as I'm talking to you right now, I am reading from the comment section and uh, people are already accepting the apology because the world is watching this program. I, I must you to understand that the world is watching this program. And the reason why I decided to uh, bring you on this platform is because our people, we are angry, so much angry and furious. So the question some of them have asked is, have you sacked the full and uh, the Aosa man? And they ask, why did you even in the first place went and they employ an Aosa man where you know that they cannot serve an interest of an evil man? They don't like us. So if if you can answer this question, please, I want you to put it in line so that the world may understand. You went and, and they hire an Aosa man who have brought problem to your company right now. And you, you also say that you have sacked the, the, the man at, at the same time. Uh, with the person that escorted the army man into a factory have also been sacked. So I want you to throw more, more light on this so that those of them that are joining us right now will be able to, you know, assimilate and understand the point that you're trying to make. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Uh, Biko, uh, I'm, I'm now, even the struggle for this, our emancipation. I start, I start in today, and uh, I wouldn't hear a phone name. I would hear people in a group when be drawn and I would have security people who mainly in the Ndubu. This uh, people I wear, they were good security people. At the same time, we have recruited 
ndo 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 bia france ana study the way han we teach and we patients for ten dia sheme we na esokwe ha owo dey say na mma mma na always ogu mana e mana ndo dem na egbu here majority of them owo all the houses i must be honest to you owo majority houses so owo na mma na owo ha na egbu enwere particular people ndo mere ndi awo ndo ke jos and in the just more and when serve my youth service in Macrudi, and I knew how I enjoyed Macrudi. Macrudi and just we are more or less very close than that, and because it was called Benu Plateau. Beautiful. Thank you very much, and my brothers and my sisters. Uh, as you can see, uh, my our 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 father here. He is a father, and he is our brother and husband to our uh, our uh, our women. The owner of Charles Aluminium uh, Limited is a humble man. He's a very, very humble man and a bear and a Biafran. And for him to have come to beg each and every one of you to say that he is over what happened in his company, that the Hausa man who was the aboki that is using that used his uh, 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 his company uh, as a bet because that was a very big bet. But we are not going to, you know. Um, we are not going to uh, take action because of what an Alsa man have cost in our land. The person that did the video, as, as, the, as, as, the, as the director have said right now, is an Alsa man, a gate man. Then, and he have sacked him already. Please, I am begging, in the name of Chuko Biyama, we all know how these people have massacred our brothers and our sisters, how they have massacred our women in Olu. We know all that then there is no reason why anybody should bring such people that massacred our people to hide it inside our own brother's company. It is not done anywhere in the world that an enemy invaded your land, their people, then your people that are killed, that are being killed, start hiding them. This happened in 1967, 1970, but it is not going to happen again. And Mr. Charles, the owner of this company is here Telling each and every one of you that he is very, very, very sorry about what has happened. Because the people that have done this, the, pe the, the, the person that did the video is an awesome man and they have sacked them. Then, sir, we want you also to remind Biafra once again that you are not going to employ people that will endanger your company. Because if you try it, if it happens next time, you know what it is. Because IPOB, we are peaceful people. We are lovely people. But our people have been massacred. Our people have been killed. Our people have been intimidated. Our land has been desecrated. The blood of our people has been spilled all over the other land. From Enugu to Anambra, from Anambra to Eboni, from Eboni to Iwacha, from Iwacha to, 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 to Aba, from Aba to Imo. And that is the one, the one of the reasons why I still have some regard and respect for Richard Sokorocha. For eight years, the Rosh Hashanah ruled Imo State. There was no bloodshed in Imo State. I am saying it live on this program because some of you may say because I don't, we don't like somebody, we should nail that person. No, if, if, if there's a, a, an area where the person did something good, why you are nailing the person on the side, on the bad side? Also acknowledge the, his good side. It is this Aosa Fulani, this Fulani dude known as Hopus or Dimma, that is bringing the enemies into our land killing our brothers and our sisters, trying to turn our land into a war zone. And now look at an innocent man, Mr. Jaws, have, have fallen victim of that. For, 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 for a Fulani, uh, for Fulani, uh, Zita also a Fulani man that have brought the, the army, army man into his company, have put his company in danger. And men are very angry. Men are very, very angry. Everybody is angry. How can our own brother use his own company but this man the owner of this company is not there but all we know is charles whether it is outside that, that committed it whether it's fulani whether it's uh, whoever it might be it is you that everybody know and that is why it is very very important that as we have come on this platform once again i want you to tell their friends how sorry you are and promise them that such a thing will not happen again before i will open my line to bring people to call in maybe they have one or two things to ask you before we continue the program Go ahead, brother. Okay, uh, Mazi, I'm very, very happy uh, for your understanding and all uh, viewers on this uh, uh, our TV. 
our company Charles Aluminium, we never and has never harbored the Janjaweed. We have never and we will not. And I repeat, we have never and we will not. Because of that, we are taking precautionary measures now for future references against those we think that might try to tarnish our image. I promise you and we to all general house to then the world in general that this will not happen because we want the Africa to come tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks.